Dr. Cindy Jacobs. I just want to uh, share with you a word that the Lord has given uh, a group of prophets that I meet with. We have met together, various of us, for 20 years, seeking the word of the Lord for every year. And last year we had the word reset. And again, I think we could say that we are still in the midst of that reset. Um, we know that God's order is not so much as, uh, as we know as uh, a year's time, but more seasons of time. And, but the word that God gave us for this year, to, in addition to the reset, was the stand. This is the year of standing. And Ephesians 6.13 says, Therefore, take up the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil days, and having done all, stand. And, you know, I thought, well, let me look up in the Greek uh, what this word stand means. And the word here is, we actually get our word anahistamine from it. Anahistamine, it means the opposite against, to take a complete stand against, a contrary position, to establish one's position publicly by conspicuously holding one's ground and refusing to be moved, refusing to be pushed back. It also means uh, uh, something from a military term in classical Greek, and it means to strongly resist an opponent and take a firm stand. So I want to say to you that whatever you're going through, take a stand for the Word of God. Don't be bullied. Don't back up. Don't be intimidated by culture. Don't be intimidated by what man says. Say what God says. And there's a strength. Having done all, therefore, stand. It's important for us to stand for right, to stand for what the Word of God says, to stand publicly, to stand privately, to believe God's Word. There, you know, God's Word is supernatural. It's living. The Bible says it's alive and it's powerful. So if whatever we're faced with, you know, Answer it with the word of God. It is written. I stand upon this. You know, when I was a little girl, we used to sing a hymn. You can tell I grew up Baptist. Um, standing on the promises of God. I don't know if you sang that. But we need to stand. We need to say here, like Martin Luther said, here I stand. I can do no other. The other word the Lord gave us was it's a glory awakening. What does that mean? Oh, the glorious move of God, the glory of God that's getting ready to pour out is beyond belief. We already seen awakenings. I know we're seeing in different places here in America, and I'm hearing words in the Middle East and all over the world. God is getting ready to show who he is on a level that all will see. God bless you.